What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie 298 coming at you live once again to the power of the internet. And this video is sponsored by the makers of this, the Light Seekers card game. Uh, they asked me to actually give the game a shot and show you guys how it's played and show off some of the cards. They sent us these starter decks to play, and uh, I thought I'd do that for you guys today, so please enjoy the video. So Light Seekers plays pretty much like a lot of different card games, except I feel like it's a little easier to learn. Uh, it has some pretty unique card types in it, so... Uh, for example, there is the Hero card, and this card will determine the other types of cards that you get to include in your deck based on their element types. You can actually see the elements there on the element row. And then each hero has their own special ability that you can use every turn. Uh, then there are other cards like Attack and Defend cards. And these are pretty interesting. They're just played during your main phase. And a lot of them are fairly simple stuff. It's just like deal six points of damage or five points of damage. Uh, the element is listed at the top of the card, so it gives you an idea of which cards can go into what decks. Uh, the most interesting card type for this game I have found is cards like this. And this is a buff card. And buff cards actually stay in play, um, and then they actually will rotate based on certain criteria. Some cards rotate at the beginning of your turn, and some cards will rotate... At the end of your turn, some will uh, uh, rotate when you activate them or in certain criteria are made. And if you look in the corner of each card, you'll see a number. And that will affect what that buff does based on the position of the card. And whenever you get to a spot that has a blank spot, well, that card's just removed from play. And that's probably the most interesting thing about the game. I think you'll really enjoy watching that. And then one of the other really cool aspects of the game is there are these combo cards. And these combo cards often cost multiple elements to play and rather than just having your hero have those elements you'll actually discard other cards in your hand to pay for the criteria of the combo and that means sometimes it takes three or four or five cards to do the combo ability but they're often very powerful stuff and uh, i tend to like these combo cards quite a bit now they sent us six different starter decks and most of them have completely different cards in them this is the dread starter deck and it actually has poison death and Shadow as its three elements. This is the Storm starter deck, and it's comprised of Lightning element, uh, Water elements, and Air. The Mountain starter deck has Fire, Earth, and Crystal. Here's the Astral starter deck, and it has Solar, Lunar, and, hmm, Gravity as an element. That's weird. Here's the Tech starter deck. It's composed of Explosives, which is pretty cool, Mechanical stuff, and Time. And then finally, the Nature Starter Deck, which is comprised of Animal, Forest, and Soil. Weird. That means there's six different Starter Decks. So there's at least 18 different elements represented in these Starter Decks. But I actually think the paperwork said there are 24 different elements in the game. And that's just the types of cards. So you can only imagine the card variety that has to be in this game. So let's play a game and see how it's played. Well, I wanted to show you how the game is played, but Sammy wants to play. Sammy, do you want to play? Do you want to play? All right, we'll play off camera. I'll beat you real quick, okay? Here, you play the nature deck. <laughs> Good boy. So each starter has this really cool uh, play mat for you. Here's a space for all of your different buffs, a place for your deck, a place for your discard card, uh, a place for your heroes, and a place for items, though. We haven't discovered any starter decks that have items yet. Now, a deck consists of 36 total cards, uh, obviously one hero card, but then 30 action cards as well as five combo cards. And I think they limit the number of combo cards because they use other cards to, to go, uh, but then on top of that, uh, they're also really powerful stuff. Like in most card games, you're going to determine who goes first. Uh, whoever's going to go first, and it's gonna be me this time, I will draw four cards from my opening hand. Uh, the next player gets to draw five. And then if you're playing with multiple players and they actually encourage it in this game, you can actually draw uh, six for the next person, seven for the next, and then everybody else is only going to draw seven. Uh, these are my opening hands, though. And then each turn, you pretty much just play cards on your own turn. I haven't really seen too many cards that you play on your other opponent's turn. Uh, so that's fairly simple. Uh, you get two actions per turn, and you can play a card or use an ability like a hero ability, or you can skip your actions and at the end of your turn draw a card for each action you skipped. And that's pretty much how the game works. Uh, and then all the other rules are right there on the cards for you. So one more thing I forgot to tell you guys. Everyone starts at 30 life. 
and then you'll basically keep track by moving anything. Uh, we're going to use dice along the track. If you get to 35 life, though, very important to realize, you can't be at more than 35 life. Also, not everyone does start at 30 life. Oh, that's My right. My hero starts at 29. You have a one-point advantage over me. Oh, that's so cool. See, that's the power of nature, buddy. The power of nature is yeah. one point more than technology. Yeah. All right, so I'll start my turn. I have two actions. If I skip my actions, I can draw a card. With my actions, I can either spend both actions to play a combo card, or I can play any number of buffs and attack cards, regular cards as I want, up to two. Uh, so I'm going to start off with this. This is Frenzied Creeball. He does three points of damage, and I get to increase this by three if you have three or less cards in your hand, not counting this card. Well, I have three cards three or left. less. Yes, so you do. I'm starting off with six. So I will take six immediately yep. and go all the way down from my starting total of 29 to 23. And I liked it. It was so nice. I'll do it twice. Okay, there is a second, well, second Frenzy Creeball. Well, that's six more damage. All the way down to Damn 17. It. And what I a fine time to start the total. I won't get to draw any cards because I'm out of actions and I used them both, so go ahead. I'm going to start my action sequence by playing a buff, an unstable defender. What's he do? Which will deal one, two, two, three, whatever is in the top left hand corner damage to you. So he's um, going to do one right now? He's going to do one right now. Uh, next turn he'll do two and so on. And then on the fourth corner, uh, my target will move that many buff action cards from their hand to their deck. Oh my gosh. So hopefully I can keep you off of cards. No, that's bad. That's really bad. Vital. Since you did so much damage to me, I'm going to play an emergency system, which is a buff card that is the next time I am attacked, I gain seven life. Seven, I next... heal seven. That's insane. When does this card go away? Just when I finally when attack The you? next time I am attacked. So uh, you're going to gain seven no matter what? Yes. That's insane. All right. So I will start off with Reckless Spirit. It is another attack card. I get to deal three damage and I get to remove a buff. Okay. And I don't like this one. So that makes sense. So my Unstable Defender will go to the discard pile. And then I think that buff moves down. Yes, that is right. Because the order of buffs matters in this game. And then I'll use my other action to use my hero ability. Uh, now that was an attack action. Right, so you're so gonna gain seven. So I actually will gain seven and this goes away as well. Gosh, that's a good card. Okay, so I'm gonna use Trianu, like Keanu, I guess. Trianu, okay. uh, his ability, which says, ability, draw two cards, but your target heals for three, and you're my target in this game. All right, just giving me all that life right back. So huh? I'll draw two. Well, I'm going to use uh, Zuma's ability, which is I draw two and you draw one. Hooray. I'd like you to know, I would much rather be giving you three life than a card. All right, well, I'm gonna play a buff. This buff is Corvid Conspiracy. And it's going to deal damage equal to the number in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously this will trigger every time it rotates at the beginning of my turn. But when it comes into play, it's got an X. So it's going to deal zero because in this game, X, right. X is zero. zero. Sure. Um, and then I thought it was so nice. I'll do it twice. <laughs> there is another Corvid Conspiracy. That spooky. That's a lot of damage. So you're going to start bleeding a lot. I These am. birds, man, this is... This is all, what is it, uh, Stanley Kubrick's The Birds? Who is The Birds? <laughs> Stanley, Stanley Kubrick's it's, the, it's Alfred Hitchcock's Alfred The Birds. Alfred Hitchcock's The Stanley Birds. Stanley Kubrick's The Birds, probably Caw! a very different movie, Caw! I would imagine. I'm going to play Ramparts, which is a buff that reduces my damage received by the number in the corner, uh, which is two all the way until it is done, and it deals one damage to the, to the attacker every time I am attacked. Oh, jeez. Now, these are not attacks. Those are not attacks. These are just buffs. Okay, good. But it will uh, slow the bleeding. So, beginning of my turn, I rotate my buffs. I'm going to deal three to you with a Corvid Conspiracy, and then I'll deal All right. three more damage to you with a Corvid so, Conspiracy. So, uh, both of those will be reduced by two. My understanding of this is just that it reduces each instance of damage by that amount. That's insane. So, I will take two total. Even though these aren't attacks, it's still reducing damage. It just damage. says reduce damage Man, by the corner such a good number. card. Okay. Here's an interesting card. This is Mantix Raider. He's an attack card, so this will get reduced, right, by how much? Uh, by two. Okay. But he says, damage equal to the number of total cards of a chosen category. Attack, buff, defend, or item in the recipient's hand plus three. So I'm going to say, I bet you have more attack cards in your hand. How many attack cards you got? I have two. 
Yay. Hence me not attacking. So you'll take options. two plus so there, three. Oh, whoops, excuse me. There are my two attack cards. So that'll be two plus three, so that's five damage. Mm -hmm. Reduced by two by your silly thing. And you will take one by my silly because thing. Because I attacked you. Son of a gun. I like our heroes. There are a lot of good things for our opponents. Uh-huh, that's what we do. Can you imagine how good this would be in multiplayer if you had like a third oh. guy and you just wanted to be friendly with him? Rotate my guy. So that's going to reduce two uh, damage it's, still. It's still okay. two. It's two all the way through. I'm going to play a Colossi Cannon. So for the first three corners, I take the damage. But the last corner, you take the damage. And it is 11. Which wow. is a large number. Wow. For this game. It seems. I wish I had that card that discards one of your buffs. I really hope that you do not. Okay, so this will re rotate, and it's going to deal two to you, which is reduced to zero. Mm. This will deal two to you, which is then reduced to zero. Why do I even try? Oh. I certainly hope that we're doing this the right way, because Rampart seems very strong. It seems it's reduced damage by two, right? Mm -hmm. I think everything I've seen that says reduced okay. damage reduces it every time. So that means it'll even reduce the damage from my own Colossi Cannon. Maybe. Does it say by your uh, It just opponents? says reduce damage received by the number in the corner. See, this is what I like about learning a new card game, because yeah. I never know. Right. And so we're still figuring it out. And I bet the people at home are going to be like, no, you're doing that they're, wrong. They're, they're doing and the And we might call, be, right? but we'll figure it out eventually. But that's Absolutely. the fun of discovering a new card game. That's why I buy every new card game that comes out. I love that's, learning new rule systems. Right. This is a buff called... Spectral Mantix. Mantix. I, Mantix. That word is really getting me. I keep thinking it's going to be Mantis. They look like little Mantis men. He kind of looks like a Mantis, honestly, yeah. with all the legs. Deal the rotation damage to your target, and I can restart this buff when I get healed for one or more. This is a card called Spore, Spore Feeder. It's okay. a defend card. Uh, heal equal to the number of buffs you have in play plus two and deal two damage to another hero, which again is reduced <laughs> by that insane card. Is that card a rare? I don't know if it's I don't rare. Know if this card are... is so good. I haven't actually seen an indication of rarity in this game. But it might one, be there. Two, three, five, I heal for five. Oh, that puts me really close to my max. Yeah. You've not been doing very much damage. I haven't. Uh, I'm gonna play Fountain of Time. Rotate up to one action buff of any heroes, uh, up to two steps backwards or forwards. Oh, wow. So I'm going to rotate my ramparts. Oh, my goodness. And, and start that train over again. That's impossible. You uh, are a And that brick. is all of my actions. That's tech for you, though, I guess, right? I, I hope so. Basically, right? you're a tank. Well, I'm going to play Old Oak. Old it Oak. It is a defend card. It says restore, restart up to two action buffs. So I will restart the birds. The birds. And then I will use my Trianu ability. To draw two cards, and even though I, I won't end up healing you for three. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Holy moly, your turn. I'll tell you, some of the other decks that I've seen get played are really fast. Yeah. Like they're all about just attack, attack, attack. Mm -hmm. Both of our decks are about like a slow grind. Yeah. So this is going to be a really interesting This method. is, I mean, this is the kind this of game really that I like playing in most of the card games that yeah. I play. I, I live to dirtle. I'm going to go ahead and use my other action to get a Creeble Infiltrator down. Uh, Creeble Infiltrator is a buff that deals two damage to my target at the start of my turn if they have more than five cards in their hand. Oh, yeah. So hopefully in this grindy control matchup, I can punish you for having a, a large hand size. I really like this card because it doesn't have a faction, it doesn't have an element, so anybody can put it in their deck. And is it's that such how it a works? good card, yeah. Wonderful. It's a really good card. This is Stump Drift, Sh Stump Drift Shaman. He heals me for one when he comes into play which will get me all the way to max of 35 for my hero, but this restart this buff when you get healed for one or more. Yes! Yep, that'll do Hooray. it. Hooray! Okay, that makes me feel really smart. <laughs> I like this card combo stuff. My Ramparts is going to rotate, and my Colossi Cannon is finally going to get to 11, uh, and it's going to deal 11 to you. All the way up to 11. So that brings me down to, I'm not good at math, that should be 23. 35 minus 11. It's 24! It's 24! <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. Uh, at the start of my hand. turn, do you have more than five cards in your hand? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, right, I do. So we'll deal two to you. 22. I'm going to play a second uh, Creeble Infiltrator. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to play a Looper, which does six damage and makes you draw a card. Is that an attack card? It is an attack card. I have finally. So attacked. I draw a card, but does six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, sixteen. Not sixteen damage, but sixteen. Okay. Yes. 
All right, does that mean you're done? That means that I am done. So your ramparts are still alive. My ramparts are still alive. So take zero I from take that zero. buff. Take zero from that buff. Take zero from that buff, and I'll heal two. So does that mean Which that this resets? Resets wow. this. Wow. That's a good ability. All right, hook them. Three damage. Increase this by three of the recipient if the recipient attacks you to this last turn. Take six, baby. All right, so I will take four. Ah, oh. uh, and I believe that is an attack card, so you yes. will take one from my. Reference. I forgot that. And I will remove one buff, and I'm going to get rid of this before it blows up. It already blew up once. It will go 11? away at the next turn. Yes, that's why you took eleven. Oh, that's right. So you can well, let's get, get rid, rid of, of one of those. Creeple. Stupid creebles. This finds a corner with nothing in it. The Ramparts finds a corner with nothing in it, so it goes away. Yay. And the Colossi Cannon has done a full rotation, so it also goes away. Hooray! I'm going to play a Bulwark Carrier. I forgot to move my buffs down a little bit. What's the Bulwark Carrier uh, do? Reduces damage received by seven, but it only lasts for two turns. And on the next turn, it deals X, it, It's zero. X. Right. So you have a chance to like save it with another card or exactly. something. Exactly. I will play Umbron Informant, which will allow me to draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand. I have six, you have how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I will draw one, a two, who, a three. three. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Owl. You are welcome. And I will play the Fungal Leecher. <laughs> it deals <laughs> rotation damage to your target, and also I get rotation healing. So wow. it starts off on X and then goes to X again, but then it's two and two. I would like to point out, by the way, we never mentioned this, but uh, cards like this Creeble Infiltrator never don't rotate. have anything in the corners. They no. never rotate. They're there forever. Until they're removed by a, by a different card effect. Yep. I will play a Time Chamber, uh -oh. which deals the corner damage to my target when I defend. Currently, I That means play nothing. a defend card. That means play a defend okay. card. Uh, and then I will play another Looper and deal six to you, and you draw a card. Holy moly. Well, unfortunately, this makes a full rotation and goes away. This makes a full rotation and goes away. This rotates for two and deals two to you. I will actually take two this time. This will find an empty corner and roll away. Then we have Fungal Leecher will rotate to a, another zero. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Three damage. Increase this by three if the recipient attacks you on the last turn. So I did. six. Wait, did I? Yes, yes. I loopered. I will play Moss Ridge Defender. It's another buff card. It says reduce damage received received by the rotation number. So good luck hitting me. That's my own ramparts. It's not as yeah. good, but it's pretty close. I'm going to play Crazed Bomber, which is an attack card. Okay. Uh, it says burn, which I think means it can never leave the discard pile. That's right. Uh, remove three buffs. Remove two action buffs from myself. So both of these will go away, right? but all three of these will go oh, away. Oh man, that card is crazy good. I can see why it has burn. So I will start by playing Stump Rift Shaman once again. Stump Drift. Mm -hmm. One healing uh, this turn, and then he'll rotate into more, so I'll heal for one. Then I will play Spirit Mob. And Spirit Mob does three damage. Increase this by three if you have more buffs in play than the recipient, and guess what? You know what? You do. I do. I so take six. I will go... To 11. Because you have gone up to 13 and I'm down to 11, I will play an Umbran Marauder, which deals 6 damage to the heroes with the highest health. And I believe that is you. <sighs> That's going to reduce me to 7. I will play Spirit Mob once again. 3 <laughs> damage plus 3 if I have more buffs, which I do. Alright, I'm down to 5. And then I will play. No, no, no more Spirit Mobs, please. Oh, another spirit mod, I wish. Oh, no, no. I wish. Okay, I will play Sneaky Creeball. Four Sneaky damage, Creeball. and it cannot be reduced by damage reducing effects. All right, you know what? You've taken me to one. Oh, if one more damage, I would have won. That's always that one You've point of damage. You've taken me to one. All right, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Go. I won't heal. What I will do is play the first combo card of the match. Uh-oh. And I'm going to play dun, dun, Overwhelming dun, 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 dun. Blast. And I have to discard two fire cards for it. C -c 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 combo breaker! I'm not sure how this works, but I figured it would be a great ending to the game because oh, you serious? take 11. What? I take two. What? And I think we both die. 
great. What? I like this game. Yeah, I like this game too. What a great way to end it for the video. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Good game, sir. Good game. Good well game. played. Actually, to the guys making light seekers, that's a yeah, this is a good, this game. Is a good Not game. Too bad. All right, guys, I want to say thank you for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, there's also the Light Seekers mobile app where you can play this game. Uh, the cards that you get, you even use the app to do augmented reality, which is really cool. Of course, the game is available in starter decks or boosters, and I thought it would be fun for the people who know this game to see what I got in a booster. So let's take a look. I, I don't know these cards that well yet, so I don't know where the rare is. Oh, I recognize some of these cards, though. Wow. That card looks complicated. Look at all the text. Let me know in the comments section below which cards I pulled that were valuable. Oh, wow. That's the first time I've seen a premium card. Look at that. It's kind of a foil. Wow, that card looks cool. All right. Well, thanks again to the guys at Light Seekers for introducing me to the game. I think we're going to play it considerably a lot more. Uh, thanks for sending this out here, and thank you for sponsoring the video. Guys, thanks for the people watching at home. Uh, you might want to check out the Light Seekers app or check out the Light Seekers card game. Um, I'm glad we did, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again soon. Sammy? Did you fart, or was that a sneeze? Was that a sneeze? Come on, you want to go outside? Let's go. Come on.